Oh wait, go. Oh, hello YouTube. Now that I'm back again, I'm here with a video that I wanted to do for a little while. Um, I'm finally uh, getting to it uh, today. So, um, in this video, we're gonna be talking about um, the yellow loose drawn bracelet of um, why it's so popular and why a lot of YouTube, why a lot of YouTubers um, have these little collections. And I'm telling you, a lot of YouTubers do. Uh, well, Gagamir the night, I think. Can't you know, pop to our cat, they don't, but um, but a lot of the YouTubers that collect these bracelets that I've come across have them. Um, because they are, they are popular. Um, so we're gonna be reading the um history of um this bracelet, and um, and I'm using Wikipedia, but it's obviously not the best website to go to, but it does have some good stuff in it, mainly because my teacher's back in school used to tell me not to. Use Wikipedia because they, <laughs> um, people can go on there and, um, um, what's it called? King information. So, yeah. But anyway, um, so, I can't know what, I'm gonna take these four breaks, these are the breaks that we're on Friday. If you guys know. And why the hell is my hamper crooked? <laughs> like leaning up against my, um, dresser. But, um, yeah. So, this, the Live Strong Brick is actually a foundation. Um, now here's the little stat information right now. Gotta be careful uh, not not to break the bracelet. Cause, I mean, I can always buy one on Amazon, but in one area, this brick is like almost broken. I forget where, though, but that was the L. Um, anyway, the Live the um, stats of it are um, founded in 1997, founder Lance Armstrong. Um, the focus behind the income break which they're supposed to be cancer related. Located, location in Austin, Texas. Area served United States, key people, Greg Lee, president, website. Excuse me, I can have my coffee and some water a little while ago. Website, uh, livestrong.org. So this is a, a foundation called the Live Strong Foundation. Anyway, so let me read through this. Um, the Live Strong Foundation is the United States nonprofit organization that provides support for people affected by cancer. The foundation, based in Austin, Texas, was established in 1997 by cancer survivor and former professional road racing cyclist Lance Armstrong at the Lance, Lance Armstrong Foundation. The Live Strong brand was launched by the foundation in 2003. Armstrong resigned from the foundation in 2012 after his admission of doping, whatever that means, um, leading to the rebranding of the entire organization as Live Strong Foundation. Among its activities, the foundation lobbies governmental agencies, conducts research on cancer survivors, and funds a number of smaller non-profit organizations. The cornerstone of the foundation's work was the providing of the free direct personalized support services for people navigating the physical, practical, emotional, and financial challenges of having cancer. Um, I might look like I have cancer, but I don't. Um, <laughs> in this effort, the foundation aimed to make the cancer care system more patient-focused as of 2020. This is, this is, I think, added because we're in 2020 right now. The foundation has shifted its focus away from direct services and has been concerned itself and the back of companies involved in improving patient care. So, um, and then there's a little history about it, which I'm going to read through that, a little bit of that too. Uh, the foundation states that its mission is to improve the lives of cancer survivors and those affected by cancer. The foundation implements its mission through direct services community programs and domestic change, hopefully I pronounced that right. As early as 1999, the foundation began focusing on the field of <laughs> cancer survivorship, specifically the practical psychosocial needs of cancer patients and those affected by cancer in the year 2000. The foundation funded cancer survivor programs at Children's Medical Center in Fort Worth, Texas, and the University 
of Pennsylvania in University of Pen of the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, PA. Um, so that's a little bit of the history. Um, 2001 awarded its first. The foundation awarded its first community program grant through a program, and it would ultimately become Community Impact Project. Um, future recipi recipients of the Community Impact Project include the Live St Strong, the YMCA, and some other things. 2002, the foundation launched Live Strong Survivor Care. Um, Live Strong has served over, I'm not going to read through everything, but um, Live Strong has served over 100,000 people. Oh. Three, 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 three feet. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. <laughs> through free programs and services such as emotional counseling, insurance management. <laughs> I'm thinking about what I just did. Insurance man, man. I can't even talk, speak. I can't even read English right now. <laughs> insurance management, and clinical trial matching, and gun, gun treatment options. 2008, Demand Media reached an agreement with the foundation to license the use of the Live Strong name or to create a spin-off website, LiveStrong.com or LiveStrong.org. Demand Media hired Armstrong as spokesperson. Um, and then here's just something about some stuff about Armstrong doping scandal. Obviously, so bad. He admitted. Um, prior to Armstrong's televised interview with Oprah Winfrey, so, and he admitted to doping, obviously that's a bad thing, um, and that they can have, um, finances about, about this, um, and actually the thing you guys are probably, um, the most interested about, see, subsequent developments, yeah, there's a lot here, so, and, um, and my phone stores too, so I'm not gonna read through it all. Um, but I will read the entire thing of the wristband. The Live Strong wristband. The, the Live Strong wristband, which is the one I have on my arm here, they have a picture of it. It's a yellow sil silicone gel bracelet program. Launched in May 2004 as a fundraising item. The bracelet was developed by Nike. The super and, and its advertising agency, Wielden plus Kennedy. Its yellow color references the tour of de France's general classification for the overall leader. Who tra traditionally wore a yellow jersey, the band became a popular fashion in the United States by the end of the summer of 2004. Well, that's explains why a lot of people have them. Even my dentist has like five or six of these yellow ones. Who traditionally. Oh, wait, we already read that. Um, I think we were when I appeared on the majority of the contenders at the 2004 Tour de France. By 2013, 80 million Live Strong versions have been sold, according to Oprah, and they have inspired several other charitable organizations to start their own bracelet selling program following Armstrong's lifetime, lifetime ban for doping by the by U.S. ADA, a CNN article claimed that the critics had struck out the V, or or wrote a W over ST to make the wristband read "Lie Strong" or "Live Wrong." Wow. Satrical news site The Onion marked a look-alike parody of bracelet, which replaced the "Live Strong" text with "Cheat to Win." Wow. Okay, that's pretty much the history about it. Um, I wonder if he was related to Neil Armstrong. Um, okay, yeah, that's just some information about the yellow bracelet. Um, this is a video I ha had on my other channel, uh, the Al Edelson channel, and decided that I wanted to do it on this channel. Um, so, yeah, so I'm um, not too much else to say, um, but if you guys want to, um, read the, read this all yourself, um, just type up, uh, the Live Strong Foundation on, um, Google, and it'll take you to Wikipedia, the free, it's like a, 
Encyclopedia. I can't. I can't even read English today for some reason. Um. So yeah. So I'll upload this for you guys right now. I click and think obviously like a ten minute video, and I will talk to you all later. Then, bye. And then here's the uh, yellow with strong bracelet. I did a did a, a quick review of that a few weeks ago. Yeah, I'll upload this for you guys, and I'll talk to you all later. Then, bye.